can kind of do an uh, interesting little neck snap to move yourself around. Propel yourself entirely with neck elasticity. Help me! Help me! How's it going guys? My name is Graham. This is Bound Up and Squirming coming to you from Stegosaurus Software, the same team that made Mount Your Friends and Mount Your Friends 3D. Our twitchy little friend here is bound up in like a straitjacket and you just have to jump your way through some weird platforming. I don't think the plot really matters. You seem to be able to just kind of like randomize your skin, so I'm just gonna stop it randomly. There we go. It doesn't have like weird purples and random colors that mount your friends like allowed you to choose. Okay, a bunch of jumping around macaronis. They're like weird chubby pool noodles, insect larvae. It's hard to know for sure. Oh, you can kind of you can kind of get like a little bit of a boost going <laughs> if you need to propel yourself just a little bit further, or if you need to kick weird spaghettis out of your way. All right, I can't quite get the angle right on this jump here. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah, that doesn't even make sense, but I appreciate I appreciate the athleticism involved there. It's weird to end a level by getting slowly abducted. I don't like these. They're like finger puppets if your fingers were the puppets. Okay. I want to I want to approximately attempt the challenge even if it's uh, like not even close to happening. I think I just need to roll. I need to focus on rolling and I'll jump when when the opportunity presents itself or when it becomes like a requirement. But trying to jump everywhere is, is a terrible strategy. Level two. <laughs> okay, that was technically the first level. The, the first first thing was a little bit of a tutorial. There, that the way he hooks his knees around the top there is real good. I'm gonna make that my move. That'll be my, my calling card. I've done it twice now. I might as well lock it in, stake my claim, it'll be like my own sky hook, you know? Unstoppable in the world of being bound up and squirmy. If there was a competition for most colorful games played on the channel, this would have to be somewhere on the list. There's a lot of crazy colors going on here and I, I really dig it. Oh no. This... Yeah, I was just thinking, this is where it all ends. A level that introduces the necessity to jump and and the need to jump where a penalty of doing it poorly is death. This is where I'm going to start uh, really struggling. Ah, oh, no, a level based on skill? I'm screwed. I like the music right now. There's cool music on this level. Maybe it's... Oh, shit. There's no checkpoints either. Maybe it's been the same level the, or the same music the whole time. It just got real cool in this level all of a sudden, but I'm going... There you go. Grab it with your chin. That's that's a level of commitment I like to see. It says you can do it in 22 seconds, right? So I'm, I'm thinking I gotta, like, commit harder to whatever it is I'm attempting to do here and try to really get moving. Oh, yeah, there, there. I found, I found a, a pretty good rhythm. Oh, that's not quite gonna make it. Shit, I should've just committed. Now I gotta reset, and now I'm probably screwed. Damn it. I was making record time there, though, for sure. No, oh, damn you. It's hard to get a... One thing I need to get a better sense of is, like, can I do one more full rotation without setting myself off the edge? I was really flirting with it with that one. I probably shouldn't have risked it, because it's how I keep dying the majority of the times. Oh, this is it. This is it. Extend those legs. Use my move. The move that we built our career on. Damn it. Alright, this is the jump that gets me every time. I botched it. It's already been botched. <laughs> Might as well just slam your head straight into the wall and give up. Give up on your hopes and dreams. You'll only ever be an amateur, bound up squirmy man at best. This internationally loved sport. Come on! Oh, I gotta get more forward projection. I wasn't gonna... I was never gonna make the par on that one or anything, but I can almost actually finish it at least. Okay, this is such a large jump. I need to, like, get up on this platform first, I think. Yeah, that's... that made the difference. 
They're not fast by any means, but at least I finished. No. No. <laughs> there's so many raised platforms. At least there's not um, space to fall off. I almost threw myself straight off while claiming that there was nowhere to fall off of. There's nowhere to fall off of in between these blocks. Oh, shit, you can just roll off the side just fine, though. Look at this dude. Damn it. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic looking. Check out this sick flip. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Oh, it was not worth jumping there. I shouldn't have risked it. Ah, I'm right on the edge. Oh, I was... I was... I had screwed that up pretty well. 29 seconds, I hadn't even looked at what the par was on this level. Who are the, who are the freaks? The developer of this game, what do you, who do you think I am? How do you think that that's a, a realistic goal? I have to assume that uh, it's a real thing that they achieved. So they set that as like the, the precedent. You gotta beat the dev. But like, come on man. Part of me thinks that you just put those numbers in there to trick people into thinking that it's a realistic uh, outcome, but that we all know that it cannot be done. Hopefully I got that angle right. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta spend so much time lining this stuff up. This is why I can't do anything quickly. No, yeah, get your toes on the edge. No! Bending the knees ruined it! I gotta come up with a version of this that it moves faster. What if I just like roll and just mash the jump button? It doesn't it doesn't work out. This is my nightmare. All they need is some like British man giving some sort of narration about life and difficulty and overcoming obstacles and things, and this would be the the hardest foddy like yet. Ride the edge. No! I was his heels were just barely balanced on the edge there, and I thought I could correct. His knees were already bent, so that mistake couldn't happen a second time. And I still got totally screwed. I made good time getting to this point, though, it feels like. You can kind of do an interesting little neck snap to move yourself around. Propel yourself entirely with neck elasticity. Help me! Help me! Oh, that felt like a daring jump. It didn't seem overly worth it. Risk it for that weird floating hyper colored jelly based biscuit. <sighs> I didn't mean to do that, but once it started, I just kind of had to commit. That was an embarrassing gasp. <gasps> it wasn't it wasn't that insane or or terrifying of a moment or anything like that. It kind of was though, cuz goddamn, that took me a minute and a half. That one run did. It took me like 500 runs. Calling them runs like it's a, a thing. Like there's some active, bound up and squirming speed running team out there. I mean, people will go and beat getting over it in like two minutes or whatever the world record is at these days. Someone out there has got to start trying to set the record for something like this. A game where you can so easily permanently ruin a run with like the stupidest mistake. The room for record setting in a game like this is astronomical because, oh my god, because <laughs> there's no like perfecting a game like this. You're not going to get into that weird shit where you find exact precise routes in Super Mario 64. It's entirely just going to be based, I guess, on skill. I hesitate to use that word, but yeah, pretty much. Look at that nice cannon technique. No, you idiot! You couldn't get a fucking pinky toe in there or something? At least I have a better feel for uh, how, how far an individual jump gets you. That was a bad example. That's not what I was trying to do. Alright, we're going full speed route. Yep, just do a, do a quick pivot on the spot like that. No need to line anything up whatsoever. Alright, I'm gonna start playing around with different angles on this then. 12 seconds, how is that? possible it's not I tell you I must subconsciously be not looking at like the the challenge times right away because I know they'll just make me feel bad about myself and that I'll feel inadequate a few moments later okay I refuse to screw this up twice we're going for it propel a lot of the times you really have to like achievement first steps. I, the first set is complete. Oh, it's not looking good. 
but sometimes you really gotta commit. You gotta, like, make sure you're jumping and rolling at the same time, to, especially when you get stuck right along the edge. Now I gotta deal with these macaronis again, but legit, they don't even seem to get in the way or anything. Damn it, that was a tutorial. That wasn't even a level. I can't even, like, look at that and be like, hell yeah! I, I, I got at least remotely close to, to accomplishing the challenge time on that one. Nope, because it didn't even count as a level. It wouldn't even do me the, the, the niceness, the courtesy of allowing me to pretend that I had accomplished anything. Damn you, rotating block. Uh, you're my... <laughs> my... Oh, what's the word I want? You're my salvation, but you almost killed me as well. My salvation and my destruction. These look like they belong in a game of Operation. Not Operation. What's the weird, like, earthquake board game? You slot in little yellow pieces, and then now and again the board does like a weird shaky thing and knocks all the pieces out. I only ever played it like twice, but I remember seeing a billion commercials for it. I've ever done at a single level in this game. <laughs> Look at that! I was like only 50% larger than the uh, the challenge time. I'll take it. Oh goddamn! These blocks like hover around and shit. They just they like slip and slide when you touch them. I I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Can you guys just slide me all the way to the end? No, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Perfect angle. <laughs> you only jumped like a quarter inch. I'm just rolling to this one. No jumping needed. Ah, no, 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 no. Stay steady. Float me on over. Float me through so I don't have to jump. Quit that. When you try and roll across those platforms, it like moves them in the opposite direction. I realize that's how physics works when you have a a friction-free floating surface like that, which I guess isn't how physics works at all. But if it were a thing, that is how it would behave. But even so, stop. Yeah. Oh, that was the single best jump I'll ever do. Ha! Did I even die on that level? I don't even know. Let's say I didn't. Oh, God, these... Flipping platforms are gonna flip me off, but if we can stick the landing, <laughs> try and use a bit more than just your teeth to catch the edge though, you know? Yeah, 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 that's gonna save me, that's exactly what I needed. Kick your way in the other direction. <laughs> I'm gonna try and use this flipping to my advantage. Alright, now take me away! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Further though, further, further, further. <laughs> There's that huge gap very specifically that it ends up kicking you into. Oh wait, this is the one. Shit! <laughs> it chucked me too hard. I feel like I really want to commit to this, even though it seems like a great way... <gasps> a great way to win! No, no, no! No, I botched the jump! That was almost perfection. You're kidding me. Well, now whatever that part of my brain is has been, uh, has been catered to to an extent that I feel like I'm gonna need to commit harder to this. Ah, I could have just stuck up my legs and probably, probably made it work. Come on, I had some good height on there. Oh, not the distance. You have to land on this thing right as it finishes as it, it finishes as is its little rotation or else it doesn't work. It threw me too far. I didn't even know that could happen. But yeah, if you catch this thing on its upswing at all, then it slaps you around like that. That's the one time I was actually able to like line up an example of something as I was saying it. But of course, it was an example of something that I don't want to happen. Okay, I, I'm 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 not gonna try and immediately turn that into some sort of big, fantastic jump. Why did I even attempt that? Why didn't I take the the obvious safe route? If I'm if I'm gonna not go all out, ha ah, ah! <laughs> ha! If I'm not gonna go all out, see, I you gotta extend the legs on that. It's like doing the luge. Crunched crunch legs can't catch edges or anything. Oh, it just chucked me straight down. 
But yeah, if I was going to do a slow attempt like that, then while I was at it, I probably should have just taken the easy left and right route once I had made it that far, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Taken, taken the the supposedly safe route here. I just kind of botched it a little, so I'm going to go for a little bit of a speedy jump across. No more jumping. Don't bother with the jumping. It's a good way to die. Just roll it in. Fashion forward was the achievement. Another set. New gown unlocked. Ooh. That set was a lot easier overall, I would say. I have regular or... Watermelon. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm just gonna roll. Nothing but roll on this one. Seems like there's nothing that'll stop me. Oh, it's another tutorial level. Yes, of course then. I, I'm probably safe to just proceed like so. Do you know what those weird bouncing macaronis look like? Minions if they got naked. I hope I've ruined minions for everyone. If they if they were something that you still enjoyed. They were like cute and funny and despicable me one. And then they super went for it. Ah! I wasn't expecting that. I'm alive. How am I alive? But yeah, then they kind of milked it, and it was too much. Okay, I gotta be a little bit more uh, of an action man here. No, don't have time to sit around and reminisce about the days when minions were cool. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They're forever cool. They'll never get old. Ah, just keep going. Just keep rolling. Don't stop. Ah, ha, ha. There's a lot of pink going on in this level. That's too aggressive of a flip. Uh, okay, there's one other one. The one other long beam similarly does that. The two others. Oh, this is a long ass level. Why is this level so long? But I gotta keep that in mind that these guys are gonna try and kill me. How do you do a level in 30 seconds when you have to like stop and wait at like the whatever this crazy acid trip of a world is is equivalent of a traffic light? Ah, I actually jumped right over it. Yeah, it took so long to get to there. Do I even have to jump between these platforms? I, you do, you do. Okay, but I'm going for that 30 second, 30 second record, okay? I was asking like, is the game ready? Okay, okay, is that okay with you? Are you ready to experience this much skill? <laughs> That was uh, the craziest recovery. I finally did it. I like extended my legs to stay alive. No, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know how to get out of it. Ah! <laughs> there was. That was that was a, a dead run. I think. I don't think there was any recovering. I hate the feeling of getting slam dunked by that thing. Oh god! I wasted too much time. No! 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 I had to jump off the rotating platform in a panic. Oh wait, I'm gonna try and like always land on my always land on my feet with a jump prepared. <laughs> this is a new play style that I'm I'm solely developing. I invented it, and now I plan to perfect it. It's like the first time anyone ever tried sculling and swimming. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swim using only my hands. Everyone thought he was crazy. Probably, because it's a dumb, stupid way to swim. <laughs> but, once I perfect this technique, no one will question it. Oh, I just have to... That... It, make sure that one roll makes it into the edit, because... Yeah, that that's what I'm trying to achieve consistently. And now I can't even launch off of this stupid starting pad. Oh, he's still alive. Salvage it. Salvage it. Salvage it. Salvage it. Salvage it. <laughs> Damn it. At this point, I just want to beat this level. And then, and then I think that's as much of this game as I can uh, commit to for one day, because it's driving me insane. Hey, I think it's been forever since I made it just to the second rotating bit. Good for me. I'm having a lot of difficulty taking pride in in this. My bound up and squirming equivalent of sculling never really took off. Never managed to perfect that move. Get out of there, man. <laughs> Look at that face. That face has no faith in my abilities to get this guy through this 
this trauma. Holy sh shnikes. Level 13, I hate the number 13 so much. I'm obviously gonna like take an attempt at it, but I, I sincerely, sincerely doubt that I could make anything happen here. Jump? Ah, come back. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna ride the edge here. Balance on your neck, do a, do a literal headstand. A handless headstand. It's pretty impressive, actually. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going full steam. Too sweet to be sour. <laughs> Fuck you, level 13. Okay, okay, but move faster, though. You gotta get off that platform that moves in that nice 50% higher than the uh, the challenge bracket that I, I seem to be at best able to achieve. Thinking of that game again with the, the blue board and the yellow pieces that would pop out. The game was called Pop It or something. That's not at all what it was called, but it was... I don't know, we'll call it that. It must have been so easy to market games like that back then because there wasn't eight trillion different board games to choose from. It was basically like, what are you gonna do? Play Monopoly for the four millionth time, you jackass? Buy our game. Level 15, these seem to be coming in sets of five, so presumably, okay, okay, that's a, I gotta, I gotta ride this out from like the tip here. Send me on my way, perfect. Yeah, so now that the last couple levels have been much more tolerable and manageable and beatable, I, I do kind of want to attempt this. Look at these, like, balloon people in the background. It looks like a balloon animal, but it's clearly one big piece. People should s just start selling balloons that, when you inflate them, are in the shape of animals. But yeah, seems like all that effort learning how to twist a balloon into an animal is, is really a waste. No, 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 no. I thought it was gonna shoot me too far. I'm gonna take the safer route, please and thank ye. What's wrong with this platform at the very end here? Is something gonna happen to it when I try and stand on it? I can't get this lined up right with my feet like on the edge because his neck keeps whipping me around and ruining it. Just pivot, just pivot in place using your crazy neck muscles. All right, whatever, this is close enough. He says as he proceeds to lose the level. Nah, luckily, luckily that worked out. Ah, three sets complete. Didn't unlock anything for that one. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need to win something every, every different thing I ever come to. I just want to try and roll my way across this because it looks like it's, it's basically assisting me the whole way through. Then it's funny just looking at these macaroni critters. I don't even want to start level 16 because I don't want to accidentally be like, Oh, that looks really easily doable. That looks like something I could I could maybe accomplish and that I, I might I might as well give a shot and then I commit like 20 more minutes to screwing it up repeatedly. So that's enough bound up and squirming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.